What's up everyone? I'm gonna show you how to use Slack like a pro in less than five minutes because I gotta get going in five minutes. So I'm gonna just show you the first tip right off the bat. Type in message and then put someone's at name. So let's just say chat and you could say anything and you could write this from any box. Boom, what up dog? And you could actually say that from any single person. It saves you a bunch of time. I'm gonna show you a bunch of other keyboard things in the bottom left, you can actually see what I'm typing. If you're able to save one hour a day from this, think about all the free time they're gonna have at the end of the year. You can go to Mexico and send me back some tacos. Uh, so here's, let's get going. So let's see, Jamie just sent me a message. If you hit shift option and hit down, it'll actually go to the, your last unread message. Hi, hi, uh oh, they got raises. Hell yeah. So if you wanna go back to your previous message, it's command bracket, and that will actually go back to your previous message. If you wanna go up and down in messages, option up and down. That'll go up and down to your least previous messages. Let's say you wanted to message someone, you didn't wanna do my cool message trick, command K. Type in their name, Mark, and just say, hey Mark, I'm thinking of you. Smiley face. One thing I do a lot of the time is use search. So you can do option command F, and that'll actually take you to the search box. And you could search in Mark, a lot of times I'll search for like Google, uh, one thing we do a lot of the times is that I'll star things that are important. So let's just say, oh me, star it. You can always find your star things right there. So if you have passwords, can't show you that shit, Google, whatever it is, you can go to start and find anything really easily. I use it for a lot of passwords. As well, uh, in messaging, if like chess or something, people are chatty chatty chattersons, you can actually go and shut them the hell up in channel settings, I mute it, right? And so that means you're not gonna see all the notifications. I do this with a lot of different channels because I don't wanna be bothered. If you're typed something, so test, and now you wanna edit that, I'm gonna hit the up arrow and it takes you right back into here to change the message. Boom. Now, if you wanna add an auto reaction to that, it's actually really simple. Uh, it's plus colon, and then you could do like, you know, taco or whatever it is, let's do taco king, and then I'll actually automatically add it to the previous message. I really love doing that one. Um, you can do pinning, I actually don't do pinning a lot, it saves it here and you can go back to it, it kinda seems like the starred stuff. Um, this is a cool one, if you add greater than and then a message, it'll do a quote thingy. Boom, that's pretty cool, so if you wanna separate something out. The last one, Josh Tronix showed me this, is that in reaction, if you hold down shift, you can actually click a bunch of emojis to add all at the same time because emojis fucking, I guess are cool. I don't know, kids these days. Uh, let me show you a few things in preferences. So you can get to preferences in every one of your Mac apps, command, comma, boom, and you're there. So in notification settings, I actually turn notifications off for everything because I don't want to be distracted. Um, next thing you could do is highlight words. So if there's ever anything mentioned that has your word or project or lunch, we have it called lunch, it'll notify you when that thing goes down. I also have my do not disturb mode on, generally during the work hours, because I wanna, let's actually set this up. I don't wanna be disturbed during work hours. I wanna be disturbed pretty much never. So I turn this off so I have to go intentionally look when people are talking about me. One other thing that Chad showed me that I highly recommend uh, is that you can actually, let me see where it is, da, 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 uh, turn on all unreads. I find it really convenient and it actually lives right at the top here that you can actually see everything that's unread. So Chad says, hey, so I can be like, hey, right back to him. Um, you can also turn off sound and things like that. A lot of you guys know that already. Uh, one thing is if you're curious about some of these shortcuts, command question mark will give you all the shortcuts that you need to do whenever you want. Last two ones that I'm gonna give you, uh, and it works really well, is that you can do reminders. So type remind me in two weeks to post this video on YouTube. And I love doing reminders, super, super helpful. Last thing is if you ever wanna remember something but you don't wanna go to a notepad or anything else, just type it in Slackbot and it'll always be there for you. So don't let me forget to buy chicken tonight. And that'll actually stay in Slackbot so if I ever go back, it'll already be in my Slackbot. That was Slack in under five minutes, 17 tips for you to go optimize, kick ass in Slack, save a bunch of time, and send me some tacos. Leave a comment if you love the video and any other tips I missed below.